Painting on the go can be a real pain to do. And building model kits, that's what I do. So today we're gonna build my mobile painting kit. See you guys inside. Hey guys, today we're building the mobile paint kit. And what does the mobile paint kit mean? Model, I'm gonna go a little actual deeper and say mobile model building kit. So life is uh, having me travel a bunch. And with that, that means I gotta build on the go. I gotta be able to paint, I gotta be able to build the models and do all that stuff while I'm on the go and on trips. And it's kind of one of those things. Be able to get vacation sounds great, but what do I do to relax? I build a model kit. So I wanna be able to take the hobby with me and enjoy the relaxation at the same time. And that's what we're doing today. And we're going to be incorporating multiple parts but centered around Monument Hobbies Go Bag Evo. So um, this bag is just loaded and built to be a mobile model building station. Now it does have a high price point. That is the, kind of the only thing about it. If you're curious about it, links down in the description down below. Links will be for just about everything in this video that I build around this kit. So keep that in mind as you look. But we're gonna build around that we're gonna build around the Monument Hobby Pro Aqua paint line and multiple other tools, not only from Monument Hobby, but also from just tools that I like to use. So we're gonna hop over to a different area of the house because there's so much stuff that's gonna go in this bag, I can't fit it right here. So we're gonna hop over there, we're gonna put, we're gonna go through everything I'm putting in the bag, we're gonna put the bag together, then we're gonna talk about more of smart things to do while you're on the go and you just want to keep that building momentum going. If you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, give us a thumbs up, helps us out. And if you have any questions about any of the products in the kit, definitely hit that comment button and ask the question because we want to know. So let's hop over to the other table and take a look what's going in this wonderful bag. So guys, we've moved to the new area and this is my old mobile painting kit. And what is it? Well, it's just an ammo box that I've used for years and you know, I figured out hotels and stuff like that don't really like it when you bring in an ammo box. So this has become obsolete and also just not what someone wants to see in someone's hand. So that's why we're replacing with all this wonderful main monument hobby gear. So, and at the core, is the Monument Hobby Go Bag Evo. This is at the core of what we're gonna be building in. Now Mike, why this bag? Well, let me show you. Abundant amount of paint storage, Velcro flaps with additional info, and a build plate right built into the bag. Additional storage for tools, paints, and other things as well through here. But not only that, You've got the backside storage. And of course the all important shoulder band, which I'm gonna take that out now, which this is a great spot to put a model kit box, additional supplies, stuff like that as you're going along. Great amount of storage. And the bag itself is built to be rigid. So it has a frame in it to help keep it from getting crushed, which means no more crushed paints. So I put a couple paints in here. These are the new Proactoral signature line, and I've got the Proactoral washes. But we're gonna start filling this guy up with wonderful goodies. And that's kind of the goal here, is to get those goodies in the bag. So I'm actually gonna come over here. And first off, first thing I'm gonna start with is Monument Hobbies Self-Healing Hobby Pad. So this guy is a handy, hard-hitting, self-healing hobby pad. I'm gonna put that in there and it conveniently fits right in the bag, right in place, in the groove right there. So add that add-on in. One of the things I'm putting in the bag is the, uh, this is the brush cleaner. Comes in handy. Um, cleaning up those gunked up, horribly looking brushes. This stuff can help clean out your brush. So that guy is gonna go into the bag. And why am I doing the video this way? Well, I'm putting the kit together myself too, and I wanna show you the tools that I'm putting in there. So we're gonna put that in there. This guy is the Monument Hobby Brush Organizer Pouch. 
which I'm going to put brushes in there, but I'm also going to put a few of the smaller tools into this pouch too. That way it can slide in and also be in there. This pouch is really handy. Um, I'm probably going to put my Zem paint brushes in here. Um, but for tools like, for example, the Monument Abbey mold line remover, this tool, I don't really see a good spot to store this tool except for in the side storage pads here um, because they've got the Velcro, I can put the tool in there. But in all honesty, I don't need to. This tool is really handy looking, really nice for removing mold lines with the angles, allowing me to scrape down and get rid of those unsightly lines without having to use an X-Acto mouth. Um, you guys have been watching the channel. I'm a huge fan of the Citadel um, tools, but this one, it's a bit smaller. It has two different kind of ways to use it. And so I took the jump to advance to that tool and I am going to place it in the brush kit. That way it slots in just like that. Nice, stable, ain't going nowhere and comes in handy. So we've got that. We've got the self-healing mat. Now here's where we kind of start deviating from Monument Hobby Supplies. My Yachtison kit. Now this kit is one of my favorites because it is my magnifying glasses. But not only that, this is a USB rechargeable built-in light. Great tool. And the lenses for magnification, they pop in, pop off, different magnification levels. And it just is a very handy tool. Um, as I said, USB rechargeable for the light. And they just come in really handy, especially since a lot of times for me, when I'm building a model kit, I'm wearing my glasses. And this, let, this actually lets me put this on, put my glasses on, and not be uncomfortable. So the goal is for that guy to probably sit in the back. We've got there. Now, unfortunately, Monument Hobby was out of their cups. <clears throat> but these stainless steel carabiner handle cups come in great for mobile on the run uh, brush cleaning cups. So, and it makes it real handy if you need to. Clip it on, boom, you're ready to go. So, really handy kind of tool there. One of the other items is basically a silicone mat that I can lay down on the table as well, set parts on, they won't slip off the table, different things like that. Most model kit sprues are usually whites or grays, so they're going to pop out really nice against this. And also, if I'm airbrushing, which we're going to get to that point. If I'm airbrushing, it's a wider area. I don't have to worry about overspray as much if I'm, say, on a balcony in a hotel laying down a coat of primer or something like that. And this one's really nice. It's really flexible that it will just hold right on up and is ready to be put away and in the kit. So handy tool right there to have and one I'm very excited to have in the kit. Now, you gotta clean up after yourself when you're traveling. And this Honk miniature vacuum is just right for kind of keeping stuff cleaned up, like screw shavings and different things like that. So I've actually been holding off on opening this up uh, until we did the video here. But essentially this little rechargeable vacuum is going to come in so handy to keeping the workspaces clean. So. This guy is going to be a permanent fixture in the kit and allow me not to anger my hotel um, when I'm building models. So really nice little kit, easy cleanup, USB rechargeable. So this guy is going to go in the kit as well. And it's got its own little carrying bag and all that. So I'm going to set that aside here. So one of the things too to keep in mind when you're on the hobby go, you want to make sure you include your glue. Now, one of the things that's kind of cool about this is these are 22 milliliter bottles. They're basically compliant enough that I can take them to the airport. So make sure you keep it under 3.4 fluid ounces and you shouldn't have a problem. Of course, you always need glue. I tend to use a lot of super glue for model kits anymore. Um, they work better for me. Um, and just quite frankly, I like the hold. So, and this is just from Dollar Tree. 
Um, but I like these bottles a lot when I'm working on some of the figures. You gotta put that in there too. So, now I talked about airbrushes. There are the USB char chargeable compressor all on the handheld, and those are great. I find them better for priming. They just don't really have enough oomph for the double trigger to really work for the ones that I've tried. If there's a better one out there, let me know. But this Gopher airbrush is really nice. The portable compressor, the airbrush works really well, and all I need is an electrical outlet somewhere nearby that I can start working with this guy. But I've used this one quite a bit, three variable pressure modes, and all that fun jazz, and this guy does a really good job for me. So um, I'm throwing it into the portable kit so that hopefully I can find a balcony to sit out on and do some priming and airbrushing and stuff like that while I'm on my trip. So I'm going to take this guy and put him in his bag real quick, just like that. I need to charge him up. And basically, we've got a lot of good stuff going into the bag, but one of the things, and if you're like me and you go to a hotel room, they're just not the brightest places to work now, are they? There's lights all over the room, but it's always kind of seems kind of dim and you need good lights. And that's where I really like these lights. So they're very small. They're USB powered. These come from Amazon and I don't even see the brand name on them. Um, but basically these are foldable LED lights and you just unfold them just like that. Press the button. They have their own battery and really three light modes and are really handy to move around, especially if, say, I'm on the trip and I want to record, these are going to be very handy, but also they just help brighten the model, especially when you're painting, to kind of see your light source. And they fold up really nice, small, and compact, and fit very easily in the back. So, we've gone through a lot of the tools. Now, of course, we need, you know, a good pair of snippers. And then, it comes time, to open the old paint kit. And start moving some of its old stuff into the new kit. Some of that old stuff is my red grass wet palette that I take for portable trips. Um, Cause it's really easy to wring out the wet mat when you're done. So that guy will move into the portable kit as well. And actually, I had a really good pair of snips in there as well. The Tamiya Fine Glue, I will find a spot in there for that, especially since I need to check. And it's 40 milliliters, so this should be fine to go through an airport. And then various brushes and things like that that are in here that need to come out. But also, um, especially a lot of times I'll be probably taking miniatures with me. I like having my 3D printed miniature handle. And since I'm taking Proacryl paints, I don't need the Citadel paint holder. So, one thing to keep in mind, if you do want to take an X-Acto knife with you, put it in your check bag, don't put it in the carry-on mode, or check this bag. So keep that in mind. An all-important thing in any model kit that I usually take around is a pencil too. Um, and I'll actually even probably throw a notepad in here. So as I'm working on a model, I tend to write down the paints that I'm using because I'm getting old. And kind of keeping that in mind, it lets me figure out, okay, I use this paint, I use this paint. And say if I have to do the model kit again, or I'm making a video like this, it lets me tell you guys what I'm using and what model, how I did the coloring later on after I've done the build. So it comes in handy. Pencil and paper, always lifesavers. So, I'm going to move this stuff back out of the way. And then we come to the coup de gras of this paint kit. Monument Hobby paints themselves. So, this is pretty much the entire line of paints. Now, the only problem I've run into is the, um, the primer bottle is too big. It's four ounces, so can't really put that one in there, but I'm gonna load this up.
All right, guys, so as you can see, that is pretty much the entire Monument Hobby Lines, the primary set all the way through expansion number four, the two signature collections, the three washes, and the metallic expansion set, all in there. And I still have space for six more bottles. Monument Hobby, what's your plan to fill in those? So, the paint, it's all in there. Lots of cool stuff to do. If you're interested in Monument Hobby, there's a referral link down in the description down below. Check them out, but I'm gonna finish packing my stuff into the bag. You guys have kind of seen some of the basics that I have in here. Zen paint brushes, I'll have links down there for those too, but everything that you see here, there will be a link to. So go check it out, but also go check out this amazing bag. If you have to travel a whole bunch and just wanna take your hobby with you, this is a really cool way to do it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you've got any questions, leave the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. If you have an awesome addition, let me know that too. So appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video.